Hello, you beautiful people. I hope you, yes you, are having a wonderful day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about addiction. Addiction? What are you talking about, Cass? Yeah, we're going to be talking about my new addiction, which is... Super, Super Auto, Auto Pets. Auto Pets. So if you haven't seen this game, Super Auto Pets is uh, it's a free game. It's on Android and iOS as well as uh, on Steam. It's free. It's free to play, and you can link your accounts across multiple platforms. Uh, it's uh, basically a, a great mashup of like a uh, an auto battler and a deck builder. Uh, it's pretty deep, even though it doesn't look like it is. So. Me, personally, I've played a couple games and I've won one, uh, so, you know, that pretty much makes me a master at the game. <laughs> you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Ugh, no, seriously, though, I've actually lost a lot lately, but I've been enjoying this game so much and I've seen a lot of videos about it, and, uh, you know, not a lot of videos give a lot of explanation, so we're gonna spend the first little bit giving an explanation on how the game works. All right, so jumping into arena mode here, uh, give a quick breakdown of how the game works here. Up in the top left, you see... 10 coins, that's how much I have uh, that I can spend each turn. Uh, there's certain things that can bump that up. Right here I have 10 hearts. You do lose uh, a certain amount of hearts each time you lose, depending on how far into the game you are. It goes uh, anywhere from one, two, all the way up to three hearts. Right here, I have zero out of 10 wins in my current run. Uh, the object of the game is to get 10 wins for a, for a completed run. And then we're on turn number one. Now each of the pets down at the bottom, they have their attack and then their defense here, which is represented by the fist and the heart, respectively. Uh, and each of these things down here costs three gold, as it says right here. Uh, I think it's a little odd that they use dice so much in this game because dice kind of implies, you know, chance. Uh, but that's not what it is. These are basically tier one pets. This is going to be a tier one, uh, a tier one food item that I can use. So what we'll do here, let's we'll start with a horse and a duck and an otter. Now, you see how things are feeding each other here. The horse, every time a friend is summoned, it gets plus one attack uh, until the end of the battle. Uh, however, if you do it in this screen, it gets plus one attack to its stat permanently. When I buy the otter, it gives a random friend plus one plus one. And then the duck, when I sell him, it gives all of the uh, uh, all of the pets that are currently in the shop uh, plus one to their health. So I'm going to go ahead and freeze this right here. Let's roll, see what we get. Uh, nothing that I need to hold on to. All right, and now we get to pick our team name. I'm gonna go with the submissive sausages. Sounds good. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Round one, the submissive sausages versus the improper hikers. And then as you can see, they just automatically battle it out here. It looks like uh, we're probably gonna tie this one up. Yeah, that's okay. So here we go, we ended with the draw. We didn't get any trophies at the top, nor did we lose any health at the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna buy uh, another horse here, and then I'll uh, I'll throw an ant up front. Reason I save this honey, if I give uh, if I give this to somebody, then when they die, they summon a one one b after fainting. Now that's important because now that I have two horses, they're gonna stack. Now what this ant does here? Oh, I can't I can't see his ability here. Basically, when he dies, he's gonna buff somebody temporarily just for the battle behind him. A random person. See, there we go. Okay, so buff my otter. All right. Oh, see, he's got a couple horses too. He's smart boy. All right, and we're going to pull away with a win on this one. There we go. Win number one in the books. Because I'm the best. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that we've reached turn three, we got tier two animals, uh, and then you lose two lives or two hearts every time you lose. All right, so uh, swan. Yeah, for sure, we want that swanny swan. You know, I'm actually going to sell my duck, so it'll boost uh, everything down here. We'll grab that swan. Yeah, get boosted. Uh, you know, ooh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan of the shrimp. Not gonna lie to ya. I'm a big fan of the shrimp. I shouldn't have really put this uh, on him, but that's okay. Uh, let's see here. So I'm gonna stack those two. So here, now if I get one more, my horse is gonna go up to level two. Let's go ahead and grab a shrimp. And we're gonna sell this guy. The reason I like shrimp so much is when I sell guys, uh, which I you do a lot kind of in the uh, in the early rounds. Then the shrimp. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's roll. Then the shrimp gives somebody uh, uh, a bonus to their health. We're going to yep, go ahead and sell him so somebody else can get a bonus. Yep, and then we'll grab a cricket. All right. Now, cricket summons a 1-1 one, one cricket when he dies, which, again, will be boosted by my horse. The reason I wanted to grab that swan is the swan gives me one bonus gold each round for a level one swan. I don't understand how people like buff fish so much. I, I just, I suck with fish. I've tried to do things with fish before. Uh, I, I, I just suck with it. Yeah, it looks like we're, we're probably not going to come away uh, very cleanly here with this one. Yeah, that kangaroo got beefy at the end. Oh, well. Lost a couple hearts. Personally, I think I'm better mid-game anyways. 
Uh, let's go ahead and, you know, we're, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna ditch the otter now. You know, believe it or not, I'm actually gonna... It seems weird, but I'm buying ducks and selling them so I can beef up other things here. Grab a little spider there. Ooh, a dodo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want that for show. I do like the dodo. All right, so let's... Uh, ooh, what do I want to sell? Yeah, let's sell the cricket. And I'm going to throw the dodo right up here. What the dodo does is at the start of the battle, uh, level 1 dodo gets 50% of his attack uh, rounded up uh, to the friend ahead. So right now he has 3 attacks, so he's going to give 2 bonus attack to the swan. The submissive sausages versus the shy herbs. All right, they got a they got they got a strong ant up here, but I should be able to take them out in one hit there. It's all right, buff somebody else. All right, so now that spider's gonna summon somebody else. Dang man, uh, people and their beefy shrimp. I don't even get it. Oh man, I'm just getting stomped here. This is embarrassing. All right, so I'm gonna uh, throw some garlic on, armor uh, on my on my swan here. So what it does is uh, any attack that he gets, he takes uh, two less damage. But what it doesn't say on there is unfortunately they do take a minimum of one damage. So if something does two damage to him, uh, it won't completely negate it. They still take one damage. At least that's how I understand it. Correct me down in the comments though if I'm uh, if I'm wrong on that. All right, so I'm actually gonna I'm gonna sell the spider, go and grab a turtle. Then uh, I'm going to throw some honey on that turtle. What the turtle does is when he faints or when he dies, then he gives uh, the character behind him melon armor, which is uh, a w it'll block up to 20 damage for one attack. Do, 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 do I want to? No, we're going to end it. For the next round, we have the submissive sausages versus the extra ice cubes. So we are playing real players. I mean, this is just going to be, you know, other players that are, that are on the same wave that we're on. Dude, this is just not going well, is it? Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Okay. We're going to have to start to rethink the strat here. Because I got, like, what? Like, like maybe two losses and then we're done? Oh, God, that was embarrassing. You should feel bad. What do I have? I have three health. Oh, yeah, one more and I'm out. What a straight-up embarrassing first run. This is this is not good. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay. By the dodo. I'm going to freeze another turtle. Yeah, just in case we can do that. All right, ooh, and a rooster. You know, I'm going to freeze that because I'm going to want that. And, you know, I'm going to freeze that dodo because we want to use that next turn as well. If we don't die this turn. So my level two turtle uh, will give uh, both characters behind him uh, melon armor. Yeah, you go, turtle. There you go. All right, we're putting in work this time, it looks like. Oh my god, that is a strong kangaroo. Dude, it's gonna wipe me. It's gonna wipe me. This is embarrassing. Ah! Uninstall. Game over in turn six. Wow, what an embarrassing loss. Okay, uh, let's go again. All right, so in the next game here, uh, we, uh, <laughs> we're on round seven. We have a couple wins, a handful of wins, and a handful of losses here. Uh, I'm gonna hold out of the snail just in case, uh, just in case we lose. What it does is, if I lost the last battle and I buy him, it gives all my friends in the row uh, plus two attack and plus one to their health. Let's just go ahead and throw a salad on here, buff a couple extra guys. Uh, the the uh, tactic that we're going with this time is the elephant up front. Every time he attacks, he does one damage uh, to the two guys behind him, and each of these get a little bit of a buff when they take damage. So, we're trying to buff ourselves by taking a little bit of damage. I don't know. I mean, we won the last battle. We'll see how it works out. Here we go. The uh, the untouched hands versus the upset husbands. <laughs> Sounds familiar. <laughs> All right, there we go. So everybody's getting a, a little bit of a boost. Oh boy, that boss is a pain. All right. Oh god, not not putting in enough work. Not putting in enough work, I tell ya. Okay, well we ended up with Oh, I was gonna say we ended up with the draw. I didn't notice he had uh, honey armor. Dang it! Alright, well we lost that one. Uh you know, I'm I'm not really digging the shark. <laughs> not gonna lie. So we're gonna uh, yeah, let's go ahead and sell that shark. Give everybody a boost with my snail. I'm gonna throw uh, I'm gonna throw a meat bone here on the elephant. Let's roll and see what else we can get uh to to get rid of that snail. Here, let's sell one by another one. There we go, because we lost last battle. Oh, yeah, give everyone the nice buffins. All right, let's roll one more. I really got to get something I need this time. Uh, whew, okay. Well, let's start it off with the deer right up front. What happens with the deer? It's only 1-1, one, one, but when it dies, it uh, summons a 5-5 five, five boss <laughs> that has splash attack. Uh, basically, it does 5 damage to uh, uh, the second enemy in the row as well. So, don't lose this one, Kaz. We're coming out. Ooh, there we go. Good. 
Good, 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 good. So, so they wasted a melon armor, uh, you know, for me, me only doing one damage. That's okay. That'll happen. That'll happen. That'll happen. That is a powerful uh, kangaroo, though. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like this. You guys get out of here. Ah! I suck at this game. Third time's a charm, right? So we got a little bit of a different setup here. So we got an elephant out front. When he attacks, he does one damage to the guy behind him, which uh, seems counterintuitive. Why would you want to damage your own guys? Well, with a blowfish, if he gets hurt, he does two damage to a random enemy. So, uh, you know, between him having lots of health and, uh, you know, hopefully he survives for a couple times, then I get to do some bonus damage to some other guys. And he can take up to six hits of that, you know, uh, from the elephant, at least, before he perishes. Then the rest of the setup we're going to have, uh, you know, here, the giraffe is going to be uh, every at the end of every turn. He's going to boost my dodo and my swan. My dodo is going to boost my swan's damage. And then we have onion armor on both of them, which makes him take two less damage. Actually, here we go. We need to upgrade our giraffe. There we go. Now he's buffing both of them. Uh, I would really like to get my uh, my blowfish upgraded. Uh, watch, if I roll one time and I get two blowfish right here, uh, yeah, we're calling the video. Dang it. Why do bad things happen to good people? Okay, well, at least, uh, at least I can buff a couple people here. Yeah, let's throw that on and, you know what, let's buff the dodo again. All right. So here I am, the creamy underdogs versus the flooded carrots. Oh, that is a strong fish. Oh, that, that ain't gonna go good for me. All right, well, at least my elephant isn't going to get one shot. He's going to get two shot. Yeah, I don't think we're going to come, come away with this one. Jeez, look at the size of their bluefish. That's ridiculous. Get out of here. Okay, you guys need to go outside and touch some grass. All right, I thought this was going to be the uh, I thought this was going to be the game to <laughs> to change everything for me, but it's not. Uh, let's uh, you know, let's do this here. We're gonna uh, we're we're one loss away from losing here. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna ditch the elephant. I'm gonna buy a snail because if you lost the last game, he's gonna buff everybody else on my team, which is awesome. Um, ultimately, I'm not going to keep him. I might as well get the giraffe right now while I can. Uh, ooh, hedgehog. No. I really need to get something else in, uh, in place of that snail. How about... I'm going to lock in that rooster just in case we get something else. A swan. Yeah, no, we're going to end up... Uh, yeah, we're going to go for that rooster. So let's ditch a snail. Let's throw a rooster up here. He will get buffed by the dodo. When the rooster faints, he summons a chick with only one health but half of his total damage. Right now it's only five, but he's going to get uh, five more from the dodo. Nice. Going up against the bearded astronauts. Uh, I don't know. I can't I can't tell at first glance. Dang. Ah, oh, that stupid dolphin. I hate dolphins sometimes. Okay, do that bonus two damage. Yeah, see, none of their guys are really low enough health for that two damage to uh, you know make a huge impact here. Alright, so we're gonna trade off there. Uh, it's gonna be iffy, and he's got that stupid bee, and, a, and it's a cricket, of course. Dang it! Ugh, feels bad, man. All right, so I didn't want to do it, but I got to beat him with the summoning build, and then ending with the uh, ending with the, the honey hog, honey hog, 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 honey, something like that. What did he say? So, oh, the, oh, he summons two chicks. Why do I have him at the front? I'm an idiot. Uh, you know, I want to I want to get this turkey up. Yeah, let's actually let's do this. We get the turkey up. And then I don't have enough. Ah. And then let's go like this. I think. Yeah, we can combine those. Ah, we'll see. I'm nervous, man. This has been going well up until now. Oh yes, and lock that in place. All right, let's go. All right, so we have one health left. Five wins under our belt. Hopefully, the withering nuts comes through. The bumbling clementines. Jeez, that is a uh, that is a strong fish. I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. All right, there we go. We're wiping things. Look at that. Oh. Too easy, son. Do you even play this game? All right, six wins. Let's uh, let's upgrade the the sheep here, so that'll make a that'll make a couple strong boss sheep. Then here, let's uh, let's get this rooster a little bit stronger. Let's throw uh, throw a stake here as a last line of attack. <laughs> Not a last line of defense. We're doing a last line of attack here. Uh, that pizza might be good, but you know what? Let's just hope we see it next turn. All right, no crocodiles. That's good. Crocodile uh, automatically <laughs> damages whoever I have at the back uh, at the beginning of the turn, and that would be uh, that, that, that would be terrible. That dog is going to annihilate me. Uh, I I hate dogs. Have I said that I hate dogs? I hate dogs. This isn't good. You know what? We're still gonna come out on head though. Because I gotta be. <laughs> the illegal tea bags are defeated. Come on, give me something that helps. Ooh, melon armor. Okay. Uh, 
Let's throw that on. Now let's throw that on my uh, yeah on the first one here. You know, and yeah, we're we're, we're gonna throw a cupcake on that just to <laughs> just to start it off. And you know, why not some honey? Why not some honey on? Uh, hold on, this sum is two sheep, right? Yep, two. All right, there we go. Oh, I don't have enough gold. You rich? Look. We're not rich. You rich? We broke. That's right. We're close to the end. Let's wrap her up. We have the withering nuts versus the fishy baguettes. That sounds terrible. And oh my God, look at their families, 50-50. That's, that is, a, that, that is a heck of a camel mob, dude. It's taking like my whole army to take out that camel. And then he's got, look at that rooster. Yeah, this is, this isn't going good for me. Oh, so close. Well, there we go. We're going to call it right here. So we got we ended up with seven wins uh, in the last run, at least. So if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and uh, do consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, I'm going to be doing more videos on this game, I think, because like I said in the beginning, it's my new addiction. Uh, I'm going to call it right here. Cast is out. Peace.